everybody and welcome back to another episode of agrarian skies oh yeah guys so off camera i have been busy 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 breeding bees that's a lot of b words so yeah i've been breeding a whole bunch of bees we finally got up to the spirit queen level or the spirit bees i got the spatial bees these guys are the ones that do the certus quartz combs or i guess they're just called certus combs i got a few of those going right now Oh my goodness, guys, there are so many bees that needed to be bred. I figured, you know, we've done a little bit on camera. I'm just going to go ahead and do all of these off camera since it's basically the same repetitive thing. Uh, one thing, though, that I did hook up is this advanced Mutatron. I don't know if I've ever showed this one on camera. It's pretty much the same as, like, the regular Mutatron, except this guy. You put your one type here and your drone here, like your princess and your drone of two different types, and you can breed them together. And if it can produce more than one, you can actually select which type of bee you want it to, to be. So there is no randomness. So what is it like? Um, a, geez, what is it like a diligent and a cultivated? I want to check this out. I think it's like a cultivated and I think it's a, a diligent. Aren't these what gives you like the unwary? Let's try this real quick. Just throw this in here and that in there. Okay, well that only gives us the one. I forget which one it is <laughs> that actually gives you the two different types. I'm not going to really go into it but you can see right there how it did produce one if there was another one you could choose that or i don't think there is one that produces this many although there could be i don't know why else there'd be that many squares but yeah guys so we have gotten to the point right now on bees and trees if we open this up go right here botany and biology uh where we can complete this so certus quartz <laughs> certus comb i was trying to say quartz but there wasn't a quartz word in there Certus comb. We now have 93 of those. That is so good. Okay, so one more for the stack. Okay, let's go ahead and submit that guy. Perfect. So mellow comb. We've been getting a bunch of these. I don't really remember which bee is the one that's producing those. But yeah, you can see we got a whole bunch of those guys. So we can go ahead and submit that as well. How many do we need? 64 full stack. Okay, so essence of the shallow grave. This is the one that kind of threw me. Um... Basically, you have to go through like a whole new chain of bees to get to this point. It's basically, you're going through all the magic bees to get to this point. So I finally did that. I got to the point where you could do the Certus Comb. I thought we were good, and I got here, and I was like, oh, no, we got to do all these magic bees. But, yeah, we got that done. Uh, let's see, Energetic Comb. Uh, yeah, I think it was a stack of those two. Smith that. Was it a stack? Yeah. Okay, so the essence of the shallow grave, we only need one of those. And if I remember correctly, uh, we need like the soulful comb. Yeah, we have to do this for those. Actually, I might as well just do a bunch of those. It's a 95% chance that we'll get the wax that we need from this thing. But what is it? What is that thing called? It's like essence of a shallow grave? Come on, click on here. Essence of a shallow grave. So this guy doesn't look difficult, but you need the soulful wax, and that only comes from um, these bees over here that I have going. The Spirit Queen, yeah, that took probably, I think, 10 different breeding uh, bee breeds before you can get to that point. Okay, so we got that going. I'm going to go over to our ME system. That's where all that stuff should have ended up, and we should just be able to craft one of those if we got all the right pieces, which we do. Awesome. So I'm really not sure what these things are used for. You know what? Let's click uses on this. Essence of a scornful oblivion. Wow, that uses wither skeleton skulls and a dragon egg. What does that even do? I don't know. So you can make a necrotic frame out of that. All right. But what is this thing used for? Oh, that's how you make oblivion frames. I see. With a proven frame. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, well, we're probably never, ever going to do that. But that's pretty cool to know. Okay, so you can go ahead and manually submit that guy. Uh-oh. Appease the grumpy one. A banana sapling. The banana tree has, in recent times, become sacred to the grumpy one. No one is quite sure why, but he seems to live within a great golden banana. A great golden banana. Maybe a tribute of Banas will appease him and grant you reward. a reward. Why is that spelled Banas? I don't know. 
Uh, so we need to get a banana sapling. So how do you get a banana sapling? So one of these, red banana, banana. So there's two different bananas. There's a red banana. Okay, so there's, there's two red bananas and two banana bananas. <laughs> okay, so we need to take a balsa sapling and jungle pollen. Balsa, I don't think we have balsa. Jungle pollen, that should be fairly easy to get. Huh. Okay, so to get the <laughs> to get the balsa, we need teak and silver lime, and to get teak, we need a silver lime plus jungle. Oh my goodness, guys! Uh, it's been a while since I've done the tree breeding. I don't. Do we even have any pollen? So we have some pollen. Hill cherry. Oh wait, we have banana pollen. Well, does that mean we can get a banana tree? Hill cherry, unusual pollen. Okay, so what is the, uh, can we go back <laughs> and get a banana tree out of the banana pollen? Uh, banana sapling, so what is this? Okay, this is something I'm gonna have to figure out. Banana sapling, I really feel like there's a way that we could take that banana pollen and get a banana tree out of it, but it's kinda not looking that's the way it's gonna work. A uh, jungle pollen and balsa. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So I tell you guys what, this is going to require a little bit of research. I haven't done bee and tree breeding for a while. And the last time I did it, I was spawning a whole bunch of butterflies to collect pollen. And I was just using that to mutate my stuff. We might end up having to do that because it looks like just putting the pollen with a sapling. I think it was just this um, advanced mutatron. Yeah, it looks like we got the saplings here. Uh, this is probably going to be the fastest way to do that. Hmm. So yeah, guys, I think I'm going to take a quick break here. I'm going to start jumping into tree breeding. Hopefully we can come up with something pretty cool. Let's see. Is there anything else on this book that we should look at? You know what? I did see there was, uh, I think, a quest. I think, yeah, one with unclaimed rewards. Is that a go with the flow quest? It is. Let's go ahead and claim this reward before we take our break. We'll do a greater reward bag, fish jerky, and an epic reward bag. Ender lily seeds. We don't need those, but that's still pretty cool. All right, guys. Yeah, let's take a break. I'm going to start working on a little bit of tree breeding. Hopefully, we can get this going pretty quickly. And I'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys. So just after a little bit of rummaging around, I kind of found something that would probably make this go a little bit quicker. Uh, we had to set up a centrifuge here so I could make a tree elizer. Tree elizer is basically the same thing as the bee elizer, except it works with trees, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that just one diamond, some redstone, copper, and glass panes, and in a center, or I'm sorry, in a carpenter with water gets you a tree elizer. So I went ahead and I made one of these. Uh, it does require honey drops like the bee elizer, and this is how you get started uh, with the tree breeding. So we can go ahead and grab one of our our oak saplings here, and as soon as we place it in the tree elizer, it's going to change from an oak sapling to an apple oak sapling from Forestry for Minecraft. Okay, so another thing I found is a sieve upgrade. This is goes into the uh, the beehives over here, I forget what these things are called, these are called industrial apiary. So these upgrades go in here, uh, currently I have a seal upgrade which allows them to go during rain time, light upgrade so they work at night, automatic upgrade, and lifespan upgrade. Uh, we can go and get rid of the lifespan upgrade, that isn't a big deal, and we can put a sieve upgrade in there. So these bees are going to last a little bit longer, um, yeah we got rid of all the lifespan down modifications. Uh, these guys are going to last a bit longer and they're going to start producing some pollen. Now I wanted to make a bunch more of these, but uh, the sieve upgrade, if we look at it here, uh, requires these silk wisps, which I haven't produced a bunch of. I have a lot of the silky combs, but I haven't taken the silk comb centrifuge into the propolis and then centrifuge the propolis into the silk wisps. It's been a while since I've done that. Uh, so I had enough in my system to make one. So hopefully that's going to be enough to get some stuff going here. Let's see. Uh, did we get any pollen yet? We haven't gotten any new pollen. Nope, so we're going to have to wait. Uh, over here I do have the centrifuge um, processing our silky combs. 
which we have uh, 1,600 of, which is quite a lot. Um, so yeah, basically what I want to do is put as many of those sieve upgrades as I can into our industrial apiaries. So our bees will collect pollen. Um, this way we don't have to worry about breeding butterflies, letting the butterflies lay on the leaves and then killing the butterflies for the pollen. Uh, these hives will automatically just collect the pollen when the trees are grown nearby. So let's go ahead and plant a sampling here. Guess we'll use bone meal. I was gonna do a watering can, but I think bone meal is probably the faster way. All right, so there's our tile leaves zero. It's probably my favorite block in Minecraft, the tile leaves zero. It's just so majestic looking. No, but seriously, um, these bees are going to start collecting pollen uh, because this tree is nearby. And because it is the apple oak, they should be collecting apple oak samplings. Uh, one thing though is this tree probably will get cross-pollinated with itself. I think some of these leaves will turn color after a while, and that will allow butterflies to spawn. Uh, one problem I've seen with forestry in the past, as soon as you start letting butterflies spawn, you get like massive amounts of them. They just go everywhere, so you gotta kinda keep that in check. Uh, but we're just gonna keep these trees around until we get the pollen in our system that will allow us to mutate our saplings into the next type. Uh, the next one we have to do, I think was a birch. Let's actually look. I think it was a silver bir birch plus the apple oak. Yeah, silver birch sapling plus the apple oak pollen gets us a silver lime sapling. And that's the next step in our chain. So we can also do the same thing if we go and get ourselves a birch tree or a birch sapling. We can go and throw that in the tree laser and that'll turn it into a silver birch sapling. All right, guys. So you see what the process is. It's just going to take... Uh, Species discovered silver birch, huh? Branch discovered, interesting. Yeah, I was looking at those achievements in the upper right. Um, so you see what the process is. It's gonna take a little bit of time to get this done. I won't bore you guys with it, but yeah, we'll just put them into the mutatron over here with the pollen, and yeah, magic will happen. All right, guys, I'll see you in a little bit for a status update. All right, guys, so here's another update. Um, I had this apple oak planted here for a while and I wasn't seeing anything happening. I put on the forestry spectacles, which is supposed to allow you to see if any of the leaves have been pollinated or not. I haven't seen anything yet. Uh, so I just got done planting this birch tree, the silver birch, hoping that something would happen. Um, I just looked at the pollen and we do in fact have two apple oak pollen, which is awesome. So that's what we need. Um, yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and breed one of these trees with you guys on camera. Oh, also in here, I got a jaded bee. We got one of these from a reward quest a while ago, and I was looking up. Yeah, this little halo changes to horns every once in a while. Um, I was looking up what the fastest bee is to pollinate, and it turns out the jaded bee actually has the maximum pollination. So I'm breeding this up so I can get a bunch more of these drones. So hopefully I can get that species trait and then put that on more bees later, or at least uh, get more jaded bees all throughout here to make this go that much faster. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a birch, birch sapling. We gotta make a new one of these since I planted that one over there. So we'll grab one of these, uh, put that in here. There we go, silver birch. Now I believe it says silver birch plus apple oak. Uh, we'll make what we want. Oh, look at this, we got many different options here. We can do common beech, white willow. Uh, I believe we already have some of these. Or silver lime, and I think it was a silver lime which we needed. So let's go ahead and create that. Nice. Okay, so now we have a silver lime tree. We can go ahead and get rid of these other ones. There's no point having them up anymore. Um, let's see, if we go back to the banana. Let's get right here. So we need a balsa teak, silver lime. Silver bir yeah, the silver lime plus a jungle pollen. So I need to plant some jungle trees and I guess a silver Yeah, I guess the silver uh, lime next to it. Uh, hopefully we'll get some of those pollens going and yeah guys We'll just keep this process going. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you in just a little bit Okay guys, so I can pretty much assume that the spectacles don't really do anything It doesn't look like any of these leaves have ever gotten pollinated uh, but we have been collecting the pollen through our beehives over here. So I've gotten up to this point where we have the balls on the jungle pollen, and I believe that's all we need. Ooh, rose gum sapling, interesting. But we want the banana sapling. This is what we need to complete the quest. We only need one of these guys. So 
There we go, a banana sapling. I don't really know if we need that for anything else. I mean, this wasn't too terribly difficult. We just had to wait for the pollen to be collected and it was easily able to go from a jungle to a silver lime or a silver lime up to the banana, whatever. So let's go ahead and complete our quest here. We'll manually submit the one banana sapling and awesome, looks like that is it. Okay, so we can choose a reward bag. We're gonna get some slimy saplings and full hearts. Let's go ahead and claim that reward. Nice. All right, so we'll put some of this stuff away. Epic reward bag. Let's check this out. What are we gonna get? A whole bunch of bee stuff. Oh yeah. Don't really know if we need any of this stuff anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and just throw all of those into our ME system. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna really need to do anything with those. Although I could break them apart and put all the bees in the ME system, which would go into the indexer and save space, whatever. Okay, so what did that unlock? That unlocked magnetic personality where we need to turn in eight mysterious magnets. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we knew that was coming. Somebody had already told me about that. And then comb collection. So we have to do, oh, a whole bunch of different bees here. A cold comb, soul comb. I think we already got those going from the uh, soulful bee or whatever. Um, a dripping comb. Silky comb, you know what? I have all my silky combs right now turning into uh, this propolis. Let's go ahead and grab a stack of those and turn those in before those are all gone. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to select task. Manually submit that. A uh, dripping comb, we might already have two. We do, so we need a stack of those, I think. Submit those. So soul comb, we need a stack and a colt. I don't think we have any occult. Uh, we almost have a stack of the soul. Oh, we do have the occults. Okay, awesome. That must have uh, come from our magic bees. Okay, so we'll manually submit that guy. Molten comb, I'm almost 100% sure we don't have. Let's just check it out though. Yeah, we don't have molten comb. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get those. Obviously, a little bit more bee breeding is gonna be required for that. Um, yeah, intellect drop, I think that's from the magic bees. Destabilized, I think it's from Destabilize, that must be making destabilized redstone. Huh, that's interesting. And carbon drop, I assume would be like coal? Hmm, I don't know. But yeah, a little bit more time and bee breeding looks like it's gonna have to happen for that. Uh, soul comb, we already have that taken care of. So just these four different types of bees we're gonna have to look at uh, completing in the future. Oh man. So, uh, the magnets. Yeah, these mysterious magnets, uh, they are actually pretty expensive. So to make one of the tier eights, well actually, was it a tier eight that's required? Let's go back here. Yeah, no, well, it just says mysterious magnet. It does not say it has to be a level eight. Oh wait, no, it says turn in eight level, turn in level eight magnets, okay, up here. Huh, yeah. So these guys are actually quite expensive. So to make the level zero, which is a couple of compasses, a diamond, dimensional singularity, and the iron ingot, the dimensional singularity is end stone, quartz, eye of ender, and blocks of gold. I think the quartz is really gonna be our bottleneck and I don't think we have any end stone, but I know we can craft that stuff. But that's just to make the tier zero. To get to the level one, we need two of those level zeros plus a diamond, plus the dimensional singularity, plus a block of redstone. Okay, that doesn't seem bad. But once we get up to level two, you need two of the level ones, each of those required, uh, what, two of the level zeros, which requires all these dimensional singularities and blah, blah, blah. You can see how this is getting exponentially more and more as we go up the chain. And if we have to do level eights, my goodness, I don't know if we're gonna have the redstone to support that. I mean, we do have a lot of redstone, but not nearly what I think we're going to need for that. Uh, we can set up the recipes and just let it go and find out. I mean, we are collecting redstone through um, the nether quarry, and we are collecting it through our laser drill down below, or mining laser. But, oh my goodness, guys, that is going to be really expensive. That is going to really hurt our resources, and I just don't know if we're going to be able to do that or not. But we can go ahead and give it a try. Uh, one more thing. Let's see. What else do we have here? Yeah, we just have these two left. Are any other quests opened up like maybe on the the end? Did that open anything up over here? Hydraulic guild. Ooh. 
I don't think this just opened. I think this might have been already open from another thing we've done. But yeah, that's interesting. Okay, very cool. <laughs> so yeah, guys, as you can see, there's going to be a little bit more to do here in order to complete the B stuff. A lot of that I'm just going to go ahead and do off camera just to bust that out and get that done with. Uh, but yeah, I think that is going to do it for today, guys. Uh, yep, <laughs> we got a lot of stuff done today. Well, I've gotten a whole bunch of stuff done off camera that you didn't see, but it's a whole lot of stuff. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time.